The key essential ingredient to making your bass line swing is by understanding how to manipulate the triplet. Many people are led to believe that this concept only relates to jazz, but they're dead wrong. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this in a pop rock context by using Anthony Jackson's bass line to Donald Fagan's Ruby Baby as an example. Now stay with me. To understand the concept of swing, you must be able to convert the standard quarter note and eighth note notation into a triplet feel. This is essential because most of the charts written for either shuffles or jazz will be written in quarter notes and eighth notes. This skill will enable you to interpret all the standard straight notation into a swing time feel. In this next example, I've taken four eighth notes and superimposed them over two groups of eighth note triplets in line two. In line three, I've converted the four eighth notes into how they would sound using swing time conversion. This is really quite easy to process because all of the downbeats in the original notation will remain downbeats, while the upbeats correspond to the third note of each triplet. So when counting the eighth notes and reinterpreting them in swing time, the upbeats that are written on the end of the beat will now be played at the same time as the last note of each triplet grouping. Now, a lot of people think this only relates to jazz, but swing time conversion occurs all the time in pop and rock music. I find that there are a lot of people these days who understand straight eighths and straight sixteens, but have no idea of how triplets fit into the overall big picture or how they can alter the feel of a straight eighth or sixteenth groove. I'm now going to demonstrate this concept by playing Anthony Jackson's bass line on Ruby Baby by Donald Fagan. If I played this same groove straight, it would sound like this. Now what I want you to do is listen to the swung version of this again while looking at the chart.
Of course, this lesson only scrapes the surface of this concept, but this is an extremely valuable skill to have that will serve you well throughout all your playing experiences. I explain this concept in depth in my sight reading book, as well as my Skype lessons and online membership program. To explore all the different study options with me, please check out the links in the description box below. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get early notifications for all my base tips, techniques, and lessons straight into your inbox. I upload new lessons every Thursday, so until next time, practice smart, work hard, and play creatively. Thank <laughs> you.